Welcome to the Off Grid Solar Power Channel. I'm Amelia and this is Milo, where we talk about practical everyday uses for power stations and solar panels and help you learn how to get the most use and value out of these amazing devices. And if you like this video, the easiest way to let me know and Milo know is to throw us a quick thumbs up or leave us a comment down below. We love receiving your guys' comments. And today we're going to see if the pair of these 100 watt flexible solar panels that got sent over by Calson are good or just a gimmick by testing them out with my solar tester and also by charging up two power stations. So be sure to stay till the end of the video if you want to see the full results. So now let's go ahead and get started guys. So for starters, these flexible panels are very thin and lightweight, which makes them really easy to install. For example, you can have them propped up on your car windshield like this, or you can even glue them on top of your RV or van. And they are especially good if you're stealth camping and don't want people to notice them. But for me personally, I'm just going to be putting them on top of our hobo lander so I can test them out today. So in theory, that all sounds great, right? Well, see, the thing is, I've seen so many people complaining recently about the flexible ones not lasting them a long time. So this is the first of many videos I will be making on these panels so that I can show you how they will hold up long term. I do have high hopes for these ones because so far I really do like the quality of them. So I am looking forward to using them in my everyday life. So be sure to subscribe if that's something you're interested in being updated on. So now that I have them set up, I'm just going to use my solar panel tester to see what kind of wattage we're pulling from them. And just some things to note, it's almost 1230 right now and the sky is clear of any clouds and it's um, pretty warm right now. So the max amount of watts I'm pulling from the first panel is 105.2 watts. And now we're going to check out the second panel, which is pulling 103 0.5 watts max. So now that I've used the solar panel tester for both solar panels, I'm going to now test the panels out by charging up two different power stations that are completely dead right now so that we can see how long it takes the solar panels to charge them up. So first up, we're going to connect the first solar panel to my EcoFlow River 2. And we're going to do that by connecting the MC4 connectors to the XC60 adapter and then plug that into the power station. So now the power station is currently getting a max of 98 watts. And then we're going to do the same thing again with the Blue Eddy EB3A power station. So we will connect the MC4 connectors to the 7909 adapter and plug that into the power station. And now the power station is pulling a max of 94 watts. And I'm going to come back in an hour to check out where the power stations are at after I've taken my dogs for a walk. Sorry for the interruption, but I'm new here on YouTube and could really use your help in order to grow my channel. So I have created a giveaway. I'm going to be giving away this power station to one of my subscribers. That's you, right? Um, you can go to the link in the description below and find my giveaway video for more information. Now let's get back into that video. So it's 1.30 p.m. now and it's been an hour since I first started. And as you can see, the sky is still clear of any clouds, which I'm so happy about. So we're going to check the first panel, which is connected to the EcoFlow River 2. And currently it's getting 92 watts and it's already at 40% battery life. And now we're going to take a look at the second panel that's connected to the Blue Eddy EB3A, which is getting 89 watts and currently 34% charged. So I will check back in another hour to see where the battery life is at on the power stations. So it's currently 2 p.m. and I just decided to check a little sooner and currently the EcoFlow River 2 is pulling 89 watts from the first panel and it's at 53% battery life. And the Blue Eddy EB3A is pulling 86 watts from the second panel and is currently at 46% battery life. So we will check back at 3 p.m. to see where the power stations are at, but so far I'm happy with how it's going. 
So now it's currently 3 p.m. and the EcoFlow River 2 power station is pulling 78 watts and is at 86% charge from the first panel. And the EB3A power station that's on the second panel is pulling 74 watts and is currently at 74% charge. We will check back once both power stations are fully charged. So it's 4 p.m. now and the EcoFlow River 2 is fully charged and so is the Blue Eddy EB3A. The Blue Eddy caught up at the end there and I think the Blue Eddy just wasn't registering some of the input from the panel and when it reached a full state of charge, the software recalibrated to reflect that. So in total, it took three hours and 30 minutes to charge both power stations. So after all that testing, I do feel like these solar panels are good so far. The real test here will be time, they performed well, all things considering, especially since I was able to get a max of 105 watts from the first panel, and I was also able to get both power stations charged up in three and a half hours. If you do want to check them out, I will have them linked down below. And if you want to watch my giveaway video, you can click here. And that's it for this video, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.